All right, day one of the second Bass Master Luke series out of Knoxville, Tennessee, the Tennessee River. I spent a lot of time fishing the Tennessee River, just not this far north. And most of the time when I fish the Tennessee River, it seems like there's a lot more fish in it. So it's going to be an absolute grind today. You know, we, we're making a long run, going like 40 miles all the way down to almost to the Fort Loudon Dam, because I feel like that's where the best population of fish are. And I have not caught a single smallmouth all week. So that's problem number one. And problem number two is most of the largemouth I'm catching, their nose is a little bit too close to their tail. So we got to figure out how to catch five 14 inches today somehow and just salvage this tournament. Hopefully get a big bite because I did catch a five pounder yesterday, which is like super rare on this lake. So get out there today, bebop around and try to catch us five fish. We'll see how it goes. Welcher. We caught three. We bagged still three of these suckers, but they ain't big. Fourteen inch. Fourteen inch. measured him yet. I'll hold that for a second. Three fish today. Probably caught like 10 fish, three keepers. Didn't lose any, which is a positive, but just just didn't get enough bites. So tomorrow we're going to go. I fished too slow today is what I really feel like. So we're going to speed up, run more high percentage stuff tomorrow, and hopefully come in with five of them. So that's the plan right now. Second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Let's hear it for sophomore pro Kyle Welcher. Tell me what that means. Make a slick Kyle Welcher with three fish right here today. Now, we can like Day number one, four pounds, seven ounces, puts you in 30th place. And this this one is not, I mean, I, I believe even the person that wins this event, I mean, this is going to be a nail biter, although that breaks every COVID rule. It is going to be a nail biter right down to the wire. Yeah, you, it, it, it really is. And you can even have a day like I had today and then go out there and catch a couple quality fish and a limit for two days in a row and still make the top 10. So the good news is, is we exhausted everything that we found in practice. So tomorrow we'll be completely open-minded and hopefully we'll go out there and we'll find us five instead of three. But I mean, I'm just glad to have three. I, the mood in the boat was pretty bad. I'm gonna tell you about nine o'clock this morning. So to come in with three, I, I'm actually a little bit happy with it. So I'm ready to go back out there tomorrow and you know add two more to that. We'll get ready to get ready. We'll see you back here tomorrow. All right, that's a wrap on day one of the Bass Master League Series out of Knoxville, headwaters of the Tennessee River. We are actually launching about seven, I think it was seven, six or seven miles below where the French Broad River and the Holston River come together and actually form the Tennessee River, which spans across a lot of the southeast and, you know, has all of these giant bass in it. We're fishing right where it forms. We only caught three keepers on day one. I think we have four and a half pounds. Caught some short fish. Um, just did, I didn't really lose any keepers or anything like that. Just super tough to get a bite. I didn't really get on the right deal in day one, obviously. So that's a wrap on day one. Day two, Bassmaster Lee Series waiting in line now. You can see the red tail lights illuminating on my face. We didn't catch them very good yesterday. But today, we're gonna change it up. The problem that we had yesterday is there was a, a, a super short bite window in the morning for like three hours where the wind was actually blowing pretty good and I did not capitalize on that. I was uh, too busy running the few things I had found in practice and I did not, you know, just fish the conditions like I almost always do whenever I'm doing well. So today we're gonna fish nothing but the conditions. We're gonna ride around and try to fish everything we can that looks good. But I do have one 15-ish mile of 
stretch of river that I feel like has the best population of bass. So we're going to drive down there first and then fish around for the entire day. But I want to give a big thank you to everybody who bought the Ace Jig. I felt like we had enough to last for like a month. And then somehow that sucker sold out in like four hours. So I've never tried to push anything like that on the YouTube channel. So to see y'all have that kind of support, I appreciate it so much. It was uh, unbelievable. So today we're going to go out and flip that sucker around a dock or two because I did I am able to get my hands on a few even though a couple of y'all weren't so we're gonna go try to catch us a couple on that today catch us a couple wine and a chatterbait around maybe a couple cranking and come in with five because yesterday we had three and that just does not cut it when you're fishing the Bassmaster Elite Series so about to put in now get rained on and hopefully catch us five all right we made it in the water today we're not late a lot of people were late to blast off yesterday we barely got in we didn't have to waste any time yesterday but about to get some rods out rig the cameras up get ready to go catch us five today Your local anglers aren't, aren't getting it in there like that. Caught one out of here yesterday. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Dude. prefer to know how everybody's doing or do you prefer it the way it is now you just you don't I, know until the end of the day i don't even look at the results at the end of the day oh okay like, i don't know what anybody did oh okay okay i just go catch all i can catch i don't worry about nothing else <laughs> One pounder. Thank you, Lord. Or one even. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready for a cigar and a beer now. <laughs> cigar and champagne. That helps. Go 
cold today, aren't they? Yeah. You gotta measure that one. What do you think? Um, over there is like a... Over there is a wooden... Okay, you got it. stretch here. Take a picture of that bad boy. Let's do it, baby. Uh, nice job. You want me to send that in updates? Yeah, do a two and a half. Okay. Two and a half, and I'll send it. I'll send it. Give me some too. more. <laughs> Good job, buddy. That is awesome. All right, you want two point six? Two point eight? Two eight. Two eight. All right, I'll send that in, and then I'll send your picture in too. Hunter ain't gonna believe me. I found this place on Google Earth. Yeah. And I told her, I said, they're going to be here. Fish didn't practice, didn't get no bites. Fished it yesterday, caught one. And then today, caught two good ones. With a very nice smallie, man. Big. Very nice. Very nice, don't cut it. That's a damn big. <laughs> That's a damn good big. fish. So this is our fifth day fishing on the Bass Master League Series this year. And this is the first day where I really went out there and fished and felt pretty free. So only catching three bass and running everything you found in practice on day one will do that to you. But today we was able to go out there, fish around, run a bunch of new water, and we ended up catching five pretty good ones. So happy with the way the day turned out. Bass Master League Series. Oh, well, sir. Hey, Tommy, buddy. Hello. Yesterday, five days after that today, better day today. Enough to get it at the end semi final Saturday. 12 pounds, 8 ounces. Puts them in 19 places. 16 pounds, 15 ounces. What a difference a day makes. All right, what's going on, guys? Day three of our second Bassmaster Elite event on Tennessee River here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Super happy that I actually made day three here. After starting off, I don't know what place I was in. I have literally no idea. I was probably in 70 to 75th place or something with four pounds, seven ounces. And we had four, seven. Got to rely on Hunter to get the straight facts around here. But four, seven on day one. Had to go out there on day two and grind and catch us 12. And like I said a couple times yesterday, that's the first day this year where I actually got to go around and fish and feel pretty free, make some adjustments, spend some time doing some different things that, you know, I didn't catch them on practice or some places I didn't catch them in practice and really explore and expand during the tournament and not have a ton of pressure because I know I have confidence fishing that way. I have confidence that if I go run around and fish complete new water all day, I'm going to get me five to seven keeper bites on any given day. So having the confidence to do that is awesome. But one thing, after I do really good, I always have this deal where I lose the super sharp, like hard working, moving spots, jumping around edge, and I start fishing a little bit slower and stuff, and I start fishing a little bit more methodical and picking places apart a little bit better after I know I've done good in a tournament. So today, we are turning that intensity up. We're gonna try to keep the edge all day, stay sharp, 
and try to grind and catch us five more, hopefully big smallmouth, catch a good bag and move up even further because we gotta ascend towards the top of the leaderboard. I think we're in 30th place right now. We're boat number 30 today, so I guess that means we're in 30th place. Let's just don't fall any. Let's move up a couple spots. But first off, let's go have fun. And I'm gonna tell you, if I keep this mindset of running around, fishing new water, exploring during the tournament, we go have some fun this year because these lakes are gonna set up where I can run around, hodgepodge, fish by the seat of my pants, and bust some daggum biggins. So we're gonna have some fun if I keep this mentality. So let's get out there and keep it for this day first. Okay, so 7.25 now, blasting off in five minutes. We're in the second flight today. So pretty cool thing to do on the Elite Series, they actually hold you for 30 minutes in between flights because that's the weigh-in time. So if the flight difference is 20 minutes, hold you 20 minutes. If it's 30 minutes, hold you 30 minutes. So that nobody, you know, being in the later boat flight gets actually more fishing time on day three because it's all about ranking. So it's a pretty fair way to do it. So we're waiting right now until 7.30 blasting off. Today we are chasing five smallmouth. I figured out how to catch two big ones yesterday and I kind of think I know what they're sitting on. So hopefully with overcast conditions, it'll still be up there and I'll be able to catch me five of them today or at least catch me one and have a good time out there. So four more minutes now, we'll be out there rolling. Sure. <laughs> I can promise you he's going to lay on the board though. Now you're old. <laughs> From Alabama, Kyle Watcher. <laughs> we'll fish that uh, here today. Five pounds even, puts you in 31st place. 21 pounds, 15 ounces, and day number two kept this tournament alive for you, really. Yeah, you know, uh, yesterday I was able to catch two big smallmouth, and I mean, the, the emotions this week, only landing three keepers the first day and then catching two big smallmouth yesterday. I'm telling you, this tournament right here, I've had more fun catching 14 inches than I ever have in my entire life, because every time you catch one, it's such a huge relief, but these kind of tournaments are kind of fun, though. It keeps you on your toes all day. The major bite window has been like late in the day, so you're grinding like for the first six hours to get one or two bites. In the last two hours, you really string something together. But today, I just, every, all it seemed like everything I said to look on just wouldn't quite measure, but still had a good week, fished, fished for three days. That's always good on Bassmaster Elites, and I'm ready to get to the next one to catch some more bass. Great to have you here. Congrats on another great finish. Okay, so I have to officially start off by apologizing about the footage. So the last day of St. John's, whatever happened, somehow I cracked the screen of my GoPro, got water inside the lens, lost a GoPro, and then have a GoPro Hero like 8 that you cannot take the door off of and have it charging the entire day. So it's a GoPro that I only used for chesties. So we had one GoPro. We decided to stick it on the yellow text. We thought it would give us the best view of me like catching the fish, fighting it in the back of the boat, because a lot of times in the video, I'll run behind the dash cam. So... From here on out, we'll have at least two cameras running all day during the tournaments. So I apologize about this. This will be the last video that's this poor quality. And but we didn't have anything for the weigh-ins either. We didn't have anything for the weigh-ins because, um, well, Hunter had some stuff to do one day of the weigh-ins. And we only had cell phones to record it on because if you have not seen the TikTok, Hunter did jump in the water to save our camera. And we're getting a new one in the process of getting a new one right now. Getting that one fixed. But I apologize Pretty poor quality video, but we did get out of there with like a 36 place finish, I believe. Good points, got us a check, had a good finish. Can't complain, we're coming in 35th out of some of the best anglers in the world. 
So on to Pickwick next week. Got to give a thank you to Tournament Tackle. If you went, if you did, go on Tournament Tackle and leave a guess. I don't even know who exactly won because the tournament is just over, and I don't even know how much I actually won. But we'll be doing the same thing for Pickwick here in a couple weeks. So be on the lookout for that giveaway. Also, turn the subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button, turn the alerts on because we're going to start making some videos. It's March now. The bass are biting, and I appreciate y'all guys watching. We'll see y'all next video. Appreciate it, folks.